Star Wars Outlaws just came out, I believe, uh, a couple days ago, and I heard that Star Wars Theory has been playing it. I believe IGN gave it a 7 out of 10. That's pretty generous in my opinion, but I heard that IGN actually, they're typically usually generous, but I've seen a lot of bugs. I've seen a lot of bugs online, and it's not good. Now, here's uh, an article from Game Rant right over here. Star Wars Outlaws players forced to delete saved data on PS5. Wow. Wh what? Star Wars Outlaws players on PS5 are, begin are being prompted by publisher, a publisher Ubisoft to update their game to the latest version and completely restart their progress. What? Imagine if you got like 50% into the game and then he said, oh, we have a new patch coming out that will fix everything, but you need to restart your game. In a new email sent to early access users, Ubisoft urged Star Wars Outlaws players to update to version 1000002 or risk facing progression blockers. What? Oh my God, I feel sorry for her. For theory, man. For players eager to check out the latest Star Wars game, Ubisoft revealed a gold and ultimate edition for Star Wars Outlaws with the, with three days early access. Oh, uh, while standard edition owners will need to wait until August 30th to play. Those who have forked over the extra cash for the gold edition won't just be able to play early, but they'll also receive the game's re uh, se sorry season pass. As for the ultimate edition, owners. Uh, they'll receive multiple cosmetic items and a digital art book on top of everything included in the Gold Edition. Just as early access players were beginning to discover Star Wars Outlaws' incredible open world, uh, Ubisoft urged certain PS5 users to update their game to the latest version and then completely restart their progress. That's fucked up. In an email sent to players impacted by this issue, Ubisoft stated that it had now rolled out a newer version on PS5. The message then goes on to state that the players must start a new safe to fully enjoy Star Wars Outlaws as the team intended. For those who don't update to the latest patch, Ubisoft says that they will face issues and progression blockers indicating that the previous versions included a game-breaking bug. Oh my god, did they not hire enough QA? Did they not hire enough QA testers? See, this is what happens when you you said that, oh, this game is going to set to be, uh, be released on this date. And then you if you find out there's a game-breaking bug, why didn't you push it out to like several months later? Do you know why though? It's because they don't want to interfere with the release of Assassin's Creed Shadows. That's the reason. This game is $130 for the ultimate big dig edition where you get all the cosmetics and early uh, early access to the game. This is so bad, man. This is so bad, dude. Yo, what's going to Cole Hauser? How's it going, man? Oh my god. Okay. Although the issues appear only to be impacting a handful of users with no reports, Star Wars Outlaws players on PC, Xbox, being prompted to delete their save data. It has angered those detailing with game-breaking bug. Uh, over Twitter, user Fabio Vincent complained to Ubisoft that they had uh, only had 30 minutes of play time when the game updated, but they weren't told by the studio to restart their progress until they had accumulated another four. <laughs> oh, imagine playing the game for four hours and being told that, yeah, there's a bug in the game. And if you don't restart and update your, uh, you know, your game, uh, you're you're gonna be permanently blocked from progressing. That is such bullcrap. And that's why you need good QA testers, all right? And here's the thing: QA testers. I used to be a QA tester, and we get the worst treatment out of everybody that's actually in the gaming industry, man. QA testers get paid the worst. They get treated the worst. And the thing is that. They don't really give you to like they, they you probably get paid like 15 hours like the fact that you can work at a fast food restaurant and get paid 20 hours here in california right versus working somewhere at ubisoft and getting paid like 15 bucks right oh but we also give you overtime and you get free lunch 
that uh, that's pretty good, man. No, it's not. It's garbage. There's no denying that this is a serious issue for players who have been forced to restart their progress, but thankfully, Star Wars Outlaws runtime is said to be relatively short. So you're saying that the guy who has played four hours of the game is more than halfway to beating the game? Because like, according to my friend, right, he said that Star Wars Outlaws is anywhere from like seven to ten hours, depending on what you're doing. So he, this guy progressed more than half of the game and has to restart. That's... That's fucked, dude. For players simply wanting to complete Star Wars uh, Outlaws main story, it's said that this can be accomplished within 25 hours. 25? Really? Then where was, where was that 10 hour coming from? But for those looking to take every side quest, all extra content is likely going to take, uh, take quite longer. But man, this is this is really bad. You should have ro rolled out this game this early. Uh, you should have you should do every single thing to make sure you can crash the game. As QA testers, our goal is to break the game. Right? Our goal is to break the game, make sure the game does not work anymore. Right? And then and then basically uh, put in bugs into Dev Track or Bug Master and making sure that the game. Uh, the game's bugs get to the engineers and uh, you know and, and, and basically the people who are working on the game. It's because QA testing, you're, you're just testing the game versus people who actually are working on the game. They're the one who have to fix it. Now, um, that means that they didn't hire enough QA testers. Um, I, I know that a lot of QA testers right now are actually being outsourced, which is actually not good. Is because that means that if they're outsourced to like, I don't know, like a place that's like five hours ahead, ten hours ahead then that means that you won't be able to fix those issues until they get to those issues. So it's really, really bad. They won't be able to address those issues as soon as they can, which is maybe like in a couple hours. But yeah, this is really bad. Um, they should have pushed this out, in my opinion. Probably pushed it out to like October uh, to get this bug. Uh, well, n this game is coming out in about two days. That means that they could have probably pushed this out into like mid-September and this would have been an issue. But the thing is, they, they want to hype up uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows, which is, uh, you know, doesn't look that great anyways, but yeah, this game looks really, really bad. And if you guys didn't know, I also saw something earlier today that made me really, really laugh because they say that this game is supposed to be a, tr a quadruple A game. Uh, this is from Smash JT on uh, X right over here. And this is a person playing the game. He looks really happy, right? He looks really happy playing the game. This is like a vast looking game. I think Ubisoft has done a really, really good job, by the way. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Guy, this literally just like praise Ubisoft. Yo, this game looks vast and looks detailed. Yo! Literally falls, clips through the map, and dies to death. Man. Man. Oh, man, dude. $130 for the game. Yep, there it is. Selling a broken product is probably the norm in idiocracy. It definitely is for Ubisoft. And if you have anything bad to say about it, you're a piece of shit. <laughs>